Neptune is the eighth planet of the solar system and the farthest planet from the sun, but it is not the coldest planet. This blue gas giant of the solar system is significantly larger than Earth and has 17 times the mass of Earth. Neptune's rocky core is surrounded by a mixture of water ice, ammonia, and methane. The ice giant Neptune was the first planet to be discovered based on the mathematical calculations. This planet was discovered in 1846 based on the predictions of astronomers such as Urban Le Verrier and Johan Go. The name Neptune is derived from the name of the Roman god of the sea, which was suggested by the Le Verrier. Hello, you're watching Space Facts. Join us today as we travel to and uncover the mysterious planet Neptune. The distance between Neptune and the Earth is between 3.4 billion and 7.4 billion kilometers, depending on the position of the two planets in their orbits. Voyager took 12 years to reach Neptune. This probe traveled at an average speed of 68,000 kilometers per hour, which is much faster than the speeds that humans have traveled so far. About four and a half billion years ago, the planet Neptune turned into an ice giant due to the accumulation of gas and dust due to gravity. Like its neighbor Uranus, this planet was probably at a closer distance from the Sun and then moved to the outer solar system about 4 billion years ago. Most of Neptune is made up of other, ammonia and methane. The planet doesn't have a solid surface, but it has a solid core like Earth. Neptune is an ice giant along with Uranus. This nickname distinguishes Neptune from gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn because Neptune and Uranus have more ice-forming molecules. Most of Neptune's visible atmosphere consists of hydrogen, more than 80%, and helium, 15%. Based on the overall density of Neptune, heavier elements are located in its depth. Therefore, 10 to 20 percent of the total composition of Uranus and Neptune includes hydrogen and helium, and 18 to 90 percent of those elements are heavier. The heavier elements are methane, ammonia, and water, as well as other elements that make up the rocky and metallic parts. Neptune is the fourth largest planet in the solar system with a radius of 24,622 kilometers. One Neptune day is equal to 16 Earth hours. One day is Neptune's rotation around itself or spin. One Neptune year is equal to 165 Earth years. Sometimes the distance of Neptune from the Sun is further than the distance of the dwarf planet Pluto. Pluto's highly irregular elliptical orbit interferes with Neptune's orbit for 20 years every 248 Earth years. As a result of this shift, Pluto is closer to the Sun than Neptune. This interference occurred for the last time between 1979 and 1999. However, Pluto never collides with Neptune. Neptune has 14 confirmed moons. The largest moon of this planet is Triton, which rotates in the opposite direction to the spin of Neptune. This reverse orbit shows that Triton was not always associated with Neptune, and according to researchers, it was trapped by Neptune's gravity from the Kuiper belt almost millions of years ago. Triton is the only spherical moon of Neptune and the other 13 moons of this planet have irregular shapes. The surface temperature of Triton reaches minus 235 degrees Celsius, and this feature makes it one of the coldest places in the solar system. 
However, Voyager 2 discovered a glaciers at the dispute ice up to 8 kilometers away, indicating Triton's hot interior. They are also investigating the possibility of an underground ocean on this icy moon. Scientists discovered the existence of seasons in Triton in 2010. Narrate the other moon of Neptune is one of the strangest moons in the solar system due to its special orbit. This moon can move close to Neptune as a distance of 1.4 million kilometers to a distance of 9.7 million kilometers. Last year, the James Webb Space Telescope captured the clearest image yet of Neptune's rings. Neptune is surrounded by strange rings that are not solid and contain thick, glowing clumps of dust. There are at least five rings around Neptune, and their names are Gaul, Larrier, Lesel, Arego, and Adams. These rings are relatively young and have a short life. Ground-based observations shows that Neptune's rings are much more unstable than previously thought. Neptune's surface clouds appear bright blue, in part due to observation of a red light by methane in the planet's atmosphere. Neptune has clouds that are mainly composed of icy methane. In fact, icy methane particles are the main cause of this planet's blue color. The planets Neptune and Uranus are famous for their diamond showers. This phenomenon occurs due to the high pressure of the atmosphere of these planets, which is 200,000 times that of Earth. This pressure breaks the methane in the atmosphere and releases carbon. Carbon forms long chains and diamond-like crystal patterns. Diamond fragments fall onto the mantle and then evaporate due to mantle conditions. The innermost part of the mantle of these planets has an approximate temperature of 6,727 degrees Celsius and an approximate pressure of 6 million times that of the Earth. Neptune is the windiest planet in the entire solar system. Despite being so far away and receiving little energy from the sun, Neptune's winds can be three times stronger than Jupiter's and nine times stronger than Earth's. These winds move frozen methane clouds across the surface of the planet at the speeds of over 2,000 km hour. This is why the speed of the strongest winds on Earth reaches only 400 km hour. In 1989, a large oval-shaped storm appeared in Neptune's southern hemisphere known as the Great Black Spot. This storm was so big that it could contain the entire globe. The Great Black Spot has disappeared, but new spots have appeared in various parts of Neptune. The temperature of Neptune's atmosphere reaches minus 225 degrees Celsius. Although Neptune is expected to be the coldest planet as the farthest planet from the Sun, Uranus and Neptune have almost the same temperature, and some regions of Uranus are even colder than Neptune. In 2019, NASA discovered evidence of Neptune's strange temperature changes. Using thermal cameras, researchers tracked the average temperature of the planet. Since changes were first recorded in 2003, Neptune has cooled it over time. The temperature of Neptune's southern hemisphere has decreased by 8.7 degrees Celsius between 2003 and 2018. But this trend seems to have reversed between 2018 and 2020, and the temperature suddenly increased up to 10.6 degrees Celsius. The reason for these changes is not clear. But one of the possible reasons is the seasonal changes, each lasting 40 years. Under the thick atmosphere of Neptune, it is speculated that there is a solid core about the size of the planet Earth. Despite the lack of data, Neptune's core is likely composed of heavier elements such as iron, nickel, and selectus. 
Most scientists consider the possibility of life on Neptune to be small or impossible. Neptune's conditions are very different from those of a planet like Earth, and the lack of liquid water would completely disrupt the existence of life as we know it. On the other hand, the atmosphere and the surface of Neptune experience a new temperatures and pressure. And this way, the planet Neptune is a harsh environment for the formation of any kind of complex or primitive life. Voyager 2 is the only land probe that managed to visit Neptune. This probe released the first images of the Blue Planet in 1989 on its way out of the solar system. Neptune appears blue in these images due to methane in the atmosphere. In 2020, NASA talked about the possibility of launching a new mission called Trident to visit Triton, Neptune's largest moon. In general, learning about ice giant planets like Neptune is important for several reasons. First of all, the extreme atmospheric conditions and long seasonal intervals of the ice giants provide a unique opportunity to understand the physics of weather and climate. In addition, these planets help us learn more about the formation of the solar system. Understanding Uranus and Neptune will also help to better understand the formation of the planets and how they differ from Jupiter and Saturn. Thank you for watching the video. To support us, please like the video and subscribe to the channel.